girl to back in the cut and I am back with another video. I told you I was going to come back with this video because, um, yeah, I have nothing better to do right now at the moment. So yesterday I saw this movie on Netflix called There's Someone Inside Your House, horror movie. Uh, the movie was an hour and 36 minutes. Um, we're gonna start with the cast being that that's the most important part. Okay, so let's start with McKenna Young. Now, she is played by Cindy Parks, that's the girl from Nassau Raven. Then we have Theodore. I'm not gonna explain his name because I don't even know how to pronounce his name. But Trent, he plays Oliver. Del with Willoughby, he played Zach Stanford. Sarah Doug Duggle, Kate Coon, Diego Joseph, Rodrigo, Ash Asher Cooper played Alex. Black Buckley Duff Duffo who played let's see he played a whole bunch of stuff House of Banubis House of Banubis that's where we know him from but he played he played uh Caleb BJ Harris played uh, McKenna's grandmother. We got Jackson Pace, who played uh, Josh's character. His name is Markin. Um, Elijah is Haley um, Holcomb. Andrew is um, Andrew Bun Bunbar is uh Chris, that's Oliver's brother. Then we have Stacy Pritchett, who is who was Jade Falcon. We got Marcoon <laughs> Bruley. His name is Zane Clifford. Olivia is Kayla Heller. Then we have another girl named Kayla who's actually one of the stars. Uh, her name is Ivy. Got somebody named Wit. His name is his, his real name is Anthony. Um, Mr. Pace is played by David Lewis. Abigail is played by Tedra Rogers. Tender Mom is played by somebody named Jennifer. Uh Skipper Stanford, William McDonald. Um, Darby is played by Jess Letart. Okay. Now, I'm going to read from Netflix what, what the movie is about. And then I'll give my review on how I felt about the movie. Uh, it's about somebody in your house. Um, it was a good movie, to be honest. Good movie. Okay. Someone, there's someone in your house. Yeah. There, okay, it, it goes, everybody has a secret. Right? Some... Right? Some to die... Wait. So everybody has a secret. Some to deadly to keep. From the mind of... Jamie... No, James Wan... The Conjuring and Sean Levy. Stranger Things. So... The Conjuring... Producer and the Stranger Things producer came up with this show. This movie together. Um... Okay, basically, in this movie, everybody has a secret. Yeah. Based on how you take it, there's somebody, somebody who's killing for those secrets. 
and in order to find out what the secret is and for that one person who knows all the secrets he has to dress up as the killer has to dress up as the person who he's killing in order to kill them because he knows there's a secret now the wikipedia page says there's someone in the house is a novel by american author stephanie perkins published september 12 2017 by Dutton Books. The novel adapts to a slash of room by the same name, which was directed by Patrick Brace and was released on Netflix October 6, 2021. Um, we're just gonna skip right into the plots. Okay. McKenna is a is, McKenna Young is still adjusting to her new life in a small town of Upstate, Nebraska. It has been one year since the in, an enticing incident that caused her parents to send her away to Hawaii to live with her grandmother in the rural town. So McKenna's be friends, a few friends named Alex and Darby. And even flirts with a romantic interest named Ollie at Upstein High School. She's still haunted by the secrets of her past life. However, all of that is put to the side when students at the school start getting killed in a series of gruesome murders. As the terror as the terror grows closer and the hunt intensifies for the killer. The dark secret of the past will finally be revealed. So, that's that. I'm not getting into the plot because that's a whole thing. You will have to check the movie out for yourself. Because I'm not going to ruin who is the killer. I watched this movie last night. And I'm just not meaning last night as in this morning wednesday october 19th at like one o'clock in the morning i was watching this movie it's really good my reviews i will get it out of stars i will give it uh a eight it was good um my reason behind giving it an eight is because some of the parts i didn't like it was really tricky. I mean, in the end, you could kind of tell who the fuck the killer was because in some of the scenes, that person would be there and then turn around and disappear. And my thing is how in the beginning, just a whole lot. Um, I'm going to plan on reading the book by the author um, to see how that goes because... Like I said, everything happens for a reason. I want to see what the thoughts was behind the book. Even though I already watched the movie. I'm still going to read the book. Because. Just because. Um, find it odd. That. Only. Out of the group of friends. They thought. The secret love interest that McKenna was having with Ollie, that Ollie was the killer, but I was like, no, that can't be. There's no way. And that it was someone closer than you think. But my views of this movie, um, it was good. Like I said, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 stars. Um, would I watch it again? Mm, maybe. Um... I did have a little jump scares. Um, what threw me off was her grandmother. Because that bitch was sleepwalking. Like, that's the only part I'm giving y'all. She was sleepwalking in the movie. And then she never came back. Like, she slept walk in the beginning to the middle, I'll say. Like, 40 minutes into the movie, she was sleepwalking. And then... She goes to the study for sleepwalkers. After she goes to the study for sleepwalkers. 
You don't see it for the rest of the movie. Um, like I said, you don't see it for the rest of the movie, which is really odd, really weird. Um, because if you mean she's not one of the main characters, but okay, your granddaughter lives with you. So if your granddaughter lives with you, why would you not keep the camera in the whole movie? Like, um. So, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, and I hope you guys will give it a chance. Watch the movie. Give it a chance. Because um, I gave it a chance. Um, about to come back with another video coming soon. Um, the woman across the street. In the window. Uh, from the girl in the window. Right? That was a movie now that I come out with that as a show. So I'm going to do that next because I seen that a minute ago. Um, I was going to do my thoughts on Squid Games because I don't know if anybody reviewed Squid Games. Good movie. Good TV show. Um, I'm going to do that. that was, those are my next two videos. Oh, next three because I also have to do main event. Um, and I also wanted to do over Fair Street. I want to watch all three of those and put that into one video because that's what those are my next videos. So I have Fair Street one, two, and three. I gotta do main event. Uh, and the woman across the street. Because now they're making it into a series. And I need to finish that. So, I have... Oh, it's called The Woman in the Window. That's the name of the movie. Um, But now they're coming to the TV show. So, now I gotta see what they're gonna do different between the TV show and the movie. So, when I do that, I'm gonna do that as one video. Because the movie and the TV show are supposed to be paired together. Um, So... Woman across the street in the window. Uh, Square Games. Fair Street 1, 2, and 3. Those are my next five videos. Six, because I have to do main event. Um, I'll be back with some more reviews on some things that I'm going to be watching on Netflix. Right now, I'm currently watching um, Grey's Anatomy. That's a long show. Um, it should not be in a video. So... I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace. And yes, that's a mark for me scratching my damn arm. It's white. Yes. Um, I'll be back.